Hello YouTube again, and welcome back to the Exil series. Explanation and the Custer fuck. <laughs> I gotta love that title. <laughs> so, I just wanted to point out a few things. Exil's characteristics um, during the start of the series. He is a character that really does not know too much about himself. But he is at the same time not human. He is trying to adapt to Earth and earthly situations. He does not know how to be human. He does not know how to be himself either. He is trying to learn either how to be himself or human. So, despite that, he has these powers. And he's able to enter these altered states or these altered realities temporarily or mentally so with that said he's also able to interact with other beings so from the first part of the series this is mostly before the military war as a ninja he um oh shit since he doesn't know who he is, he wasn't aware of this alternate power, so. There was this, um, how can you say, demon or whatever, called XI, which is now known as Ika. Remember that name, Demon Ika. Because I don't know, he might come back in future series, maybe the current one. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, most of the series was about his alternate alternate interactions. So, before the Ninja War, he was trying to basically learn himself and learn how to adopt to be a human. Because he didn't want to... What the alternate... <sighs> How can I say this? What the alternate stuff really did to him was make him frustrated and confuse him. So what the alternate stuff actually did was confuse him between if he was human or if he... W no, it confused him if he was... Between if he was human or if he was demon. Which he wasn't neither of those. So... What the alternate states tried to convince him was that he was this demon that needed to terrorize the human world. But at the same time, he didn't believe that. And he knew that he was something else other than what they were telling him. So, the first, the original beginning of the story was about him fighting Ika, his demon, which took at least two to three years. So, there was this long series about that. After that since after that series he learned that he had alternate powers and that I could uh, or I could a demon whatever was just one of the dark sides to himself or what not and he learned that he had this guardian that always protected him so that was that first part of the series now now the alternate power that he has also allows him to interact with these beings so when he was fighting Ika. He was actually able to battle him. Of course, this wasn't in the human realm. This was like <laughs> some alternate world that he vanished from Earth temporarily. So whenever this happened, he would go into a trance like sleep and wake up in this other world. There he would either talk to this alternate being in this world or interact with the world or the alternate being whatever blah blah, blah 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 so very interesting very complex series there so yeah basically the first part of the series was about him figuring himself out and then the colonies came along and then it was about him oh my god I can't believe I'm explaining this this is like really complicated because there's like so much. <sighs> but yeah. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of Exul's background as I talk about this story. 
so look out for my other video that's coming after, right after this which explains about the colonies. Toodles.